Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. Depth of Field is a feature that we have had in Anime Studio for quite some time. And it has really allowed us to enhance the scenes to make them look more film-like. So for this example, I'll just hit play here. We have a just a simple animated scene here. You have a character more in the background and you have one in the foreground. And if we were to render this out, you can see that basically everything looks the same in terms of blurriness. There's nothing blurred out. Everything just kind of looks like it's on the same playing field in terms of the focus. So if we take the orbit tool and click and move around, you can see we do have some depth going on here. The clouds are behind the mountains. We have another second uh, row of mountains and then the teepees and the ground and so forth. And if we take the camera, the track camera tool and move it back and forth, you can see here that there is definitely some parallaxing going on. We do have depth. Now in the past with Anime Studio, you could go to File and Project Settings, and this is the same with the current version as well. You can go to your Depth of Field settings, and you could adjust the numbers to basically line up the Depth of Field so that you could basically dictate what is in focus and what wasn't in focus. The problem with this was it was kind of difficult to remember what was what. You know, focus distance, uh, focus range, the blur radius made most sense to most people, but those two options were always hard to visualize. Well, now there has been an enhancement that will help us with this. So taking the orbit tool, we can come back here and line this up so we can kind of see the workspace and the layers. Going back to project settings, we can enable depth of field and you'll see now a box and a line appears. The line is the focus distance. That's basically how far out the camera will focus in. And as you see, as we move this around, it moves the entire box around. And then the range, we can shrink the box and increase the size of the box. So basically, whatever is in that box will have some range of focus. The line is your absolute focus. And of course, the blur radius is the same. You just basically dictate how blurry it's going to be. So we'll try to line it up close to the background character and then as you can see the line is near him and then we can hit OK, reset the workspace view here and then we can preview this animation out. And you can see that there's nothing going on in the workspace, that's why we have to render this out. And that's just how the preview works. So once you render this frame out with Control R or Command R if you're on a Mac, you can see that the background character is now in focus while the foreground character is more out of focus and the mountains in the background are definitely out of focus and we have a soft blur effect going on with some of the TPs as well. So as you can see it works well just like before except now you can visualize it. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio you can visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com Thanks for watching guys, we have more tutorials out there so be sure to check them out and we will see you next time.